What's up car community? Warrior Card 65 here. In front of me I have several large packages um, that I have received in the mail today. Um, there are three people of note that I can see sent items. I have a box from Lone Star Legends. Um, I know I per participated in some of his auctions the other night. I have a box from Cleveland Card Connection. I believe this is a card crew uh, giveaway item. I have a bubbler from Jimmy Guns. I've done a few of his auctions recently. And then I have a couple of envelopes. So while I'm uh, waiting on anybody that cares to join in here, I'll go ahead and see what we have in the envelopes. These are most likely eBay pickups that were rather cheap. So uh, let's go ahead and turn to this first one. Um, probably not anything as nice as what I've picked up yesterday. Um, just some random things that I wanted to pick up for really cheap off of the free shipping on eBay. Um, so some plain white envelopes here. Um, those were shoved in there pretty tight. Hopefully they're not just destroyed. So I got three of the uh, Topps Heritage Cubs guys from this season. We got Carl Edwards Jr., Jose Quintana, and hey, what's up, Big Country? And Brandon Morrow. So three uh, Cubs base cards that I just picked up really cheap on eBay in that package. Um, the next envelope, not sure again what's in here. If I can get a card for like 10 cents, 20 cents, I try to buy multiples from the same seller, but I go ahead and pick up those deals when I see them. Um, I don't know if this is going to come out very easily, so I'll go ahead and just rip it. It's kind of taped down in there. Okay. Let's see, just a plain index card, plain index card, thank you for your business, uh, okay, yeah, this is a card I purchased on eBay, and then, uh, oh, you bet, big country, um, purchased it on eBay, and then I got it in a package, so I wish I hadn't bought it, I would have saved that couple bucks that probably spent on that one, but I... I really wanted this. I'm putting together, hey Thomas, I'm putting together the uh, opening day set for my uh, child who is due August 1st. I'm um, not sure if we're having a boy or a girl, but I thought, you know, it'd be kind of neat to put that together. Um, and that's one of the only inserts. And I'm, I don't know that I'm doing all the insert sets, but that's one of the only inserts I was missing from that set. Uh, next item I have here is a package from Jimmy Guns. I've been involved in a few of his auctions. Looks like he used half a roll of tape here. I know some of the items in this I'm actually waiting for to do a uh, trade. So I'm glad they came in today. I had checked in with him to, to find out for sure um, the other day. and I, was, I knew this package was coming today. I wasn't sure about the rest of them. Um, So, I'm not exactly, I can't remember exactly what's coming in this package. And I know on his auctions, if you've never been in his channel, Jimmy Guns does auctions actually, um, I believe tonight. Um, on his channel, guys will gift specific cards from a lot to each other if they know their PC. I try to gift back some guys, <clears throat> Crosby. Um, will not let me give back. They won't let me win an auction that they want. <laughs> and they won't give me their address to send them anything. But if you're uh, interested in getting some cards, probably better than eBay prices most of the time, um, you can check out Jimmy's auction. 
Monday nights. Um, I will warn you guys, it is a little bit more of an adult setting, so I don't want your parents to be upset. Please don't check it out if you are a youngin, like some of you guys that are in the channel right now. It is probably not the best uh, environment for you as a teacher, I need to tell you that. <laughs> um, but I just go in there to, to check out the cards and it's kind of fun to chat with people on live streams as you probably know since some of you are in here right now but um, it is an auction format uh, plain and simple there's no giveaways nothing like that um, so there's a pretty well packaged item here I'm having a hard time getting into all of it my arm's still a little weak from having surgery. It's kind of been giving me a little bit of a setback the last couple of days as far as um, being able to use it as much as I wish I could right now. Looks like I got one person in here right now. Maybe that's Thomas. Maybe that's Big Country. Maybe it's someone else. And that's okay. I just think this is a little easier way to... Uh, do this rather than uploading a video later and it's fun to chat with you guys if people do stop in it seems like I usually get the most viewers right around the time I'm about to sign out so that's kind of weird but it's how it goes all right if you've ever been in a Jimmy auction those of you watching this back later you're always kind of worried like is he gonna have my pile right because <laughs> by the end of the auction Jimmy's, uh, let's just say he's not of his entire mind. I guess I'll put it that way. Um, he's a nice guy. He's a good guy. Uh, this is one of the things that somebody just said, throw it in my pile. So I really appreciate the J.U. Chasen. Um, not worth anything, really. It's a numbered rookie, but he was one of the least productive rookies the Chiefs have had in recent years. Um, this shed long, I'm not sure. I think I bought a, this lot. I bought the this lot of uh, Bowman first. Probably not much uh, that I paid for those. Um, let's see what's in this next bag here. Um, this is one I wanted for sure, the Khalil Lee. I'm not sure if this is one we traded back and forth, possibly. I was interested in this as he's a uh, prospect for the Royals. Um, he's an outfield prospect. This is the one from 2018 Mega Boxes. Um, and then I wound up with a couple of others from that as well. The Rookie of the Year favorite of Nick Williams and uh, Johan Mises. Uh, not sure how to say their names, his name, I mean, but um, was really in that one for the Khalil Lee. Jimmy, for some reason, um, refuses to sell all the Chiefs that he gets. He claims to be a Raiders fan, but I can't. I mean, I know people don't like to part with their Chiefs because they're the best team, and uh, same thing with the Cubs and the Royals are not the best team. But for some reason, Jimmy just don't get many of their cards, so I wind up having to buy other team stuff when I do actually see a Cubs or, or Royals or Chiefs card of any kind. Um, let's see. Not sure what was going on with this Ryan Healy. It's a gold standard out of 99. And it is player used material out of 2017. So that's interesting card. Let's see. Chad Pender, Trevor Cahill rookie. This Eckersley. I'm thinking he just threw a couple of these in, maybe. I'm not really sure. Like the Cahill, Eckersley. I don't really know. I can't remember exactly. This may have just been a big A's lot, and I picked it up. I can't recall. Um, let's see. Did get the Cam Gallagher uh, dual relic out of... Uh, 2018 Diamond Kings player used material 
Um, that is a rookie year item. I got the Evan Steele out of 75 auto um, from 2017 Elite Extra Edition. So hopefully he'll make something of himself. Um, here is one item I was waiting on for a trade. This is a CJ Chrome, uh, the rookie's autograph. Um, he's a current, this is a 2014 Donruss. He is a current uh, twin, and I have a pretty big twin trade going. So put that in my twin stack there. And this is one that I just bought because I thought it was a neat deal. It's numbered out of 199. I was thinking it was numbered a little lower, but AC Green played basketball back when I actually watched the NBA. I'll probably trade that at some point or. Uh, you know figure out what to do with that i'm not really into nba cards i just grabbed it because it was cheap and then uh the first two cards i bought and the reason i wind up going into his auctions a little more was this pair of iowa uh tight ends noah fant and tj hawkinson as anybody that watches my videos knows um, my father-in-law is an Iowa grad. He he took me to watch these two play against Wisconsin. The team should have won that game, um, but I did get to go see uh, that pair of tight ends play in person. I'll be probably going to a game every year at this point, hopefully. So um, the Sano rookie patch is also um, for that trade. So it looks like I have everything in for my trade. Um, player use material 2016 rookie promising pro Miguel Sano let's see uh, somehow I wound up with this Jeremy Langford autograph out of I don't even know what um, but I'm sure I got some Bears fans out there in fact I know I do have a Bears fan that I'm hoping to hear from so that would be something that's available for him um, I'll have to check on Devin Travis. Hey, what's up, my dog? I have to check on these. Um, the Devin Travis autos and Diego Castillo. Um, not sure why I picked these up. They may have been just a cheap item. But I can't remember for sure if Devin Travis is a, is a twin or not. Um, it's hard to keep track when the guys switch teams all the time. So again, all that stuff I just went through there is from uh, Jimmy Gunn's auction. Let's see. I don't know exactly what's in this box. I know, let's see, I know some of the stuff at least, maybe everything in this box from Lone Star. Um, I haven't really looked in there yet. I did open it before I went on. And I do see something that I had not purchased here. So, uh... Okay, so looks like I've got everything out of the box. And check out this note real quick. Here's your cards from the auction. Thank you so much for jumping in there and showing support for the channel, my family, and myself. Thank you for being an awesome member of the community. The boxes say thank you for the amazing support for the entire card crew. And uh, I believe that that is a card crew um, giveaway box. So I did purchase a few cards from Lone Star. And then, um, so the few I purchased are here. And then I have this uh, box that he sent along of 2019 Series 2. So let's see what I purchased. I can't even remember completely. Uh, Shoei Otani, rookie. I think it was just a good price, so I picked it up. Uh, Illusions, rookie. Okay. Um, a Kareem Hunt uh, spotlight. Hey, hats. This card is from 2018 Illusions, so it's not a rookie card. Kareem Hunt, um, 
I mean, I still collect everybody that played for my team, so I'm not going to really get into Kareem Hunt right now. The reason that I wound up getting into this auction was for the Shoei Otani. I needed it for my set. So it's uh, the number one of the update series. I have a couple of the other Otanis, but I uh, did not have this one. So I went ahead and bought into the auction. And once you're in an auction and you got to pay shipping, you might as well pick up other things. So I picked up this Brewer Hicklin Mojo from this year, first Bowman. Not any idea if this guy's going to make anything of himself or not. But I already had one, I think. But I think I probably paid a buck for it. And then this Kyle Freeland. I may have paid 50 cents for so I just went ahead and picked it up he's been up and down so we do have this box of uh, series 2 that he sent along so that's awesome thank you Lone Star very much for that um, hopefully it's better than the one I opened from Rookie Monster for sure um, okay so this last box I have here today is from Cleveland Car Connection it says, Warrior, I'm truly sorry for the mass confusion on YouTube being YouTube. Haha. Ha. Congrats on the win. I hope this package finds you in one piece. It does pain me to purchase this item for you. You will know why when you see it. Ha. It is actually the second one I bought for someone who won the giveaway. Thanks for the support. This is from Cleveland Car Connection. <laughs> okay. He's an Indians fan, so I have an idea. Hey, Car Collector 65, how you doing? And what's up, uh, San Francisco Cards? How, you, how are you? So this is my last package I'm opening here you can check out the stream later if you're interested this is a package from Cleveland Card Connection from the card crew um, so there's a few items in this box <laughs> yeah he didn't like buying that I'm wondering if that's the same set that I had in a different box I'm hoping it's a different one but either way it's really cool um, he he's sent a big package here. So we got this bubble envelope. We've got this box. No idea what's in there. And then we've got this uh, World Series Champs Limited Edition set. And I'm not sure what's in it. I'll have to check. I did have a different package one. And uh, I'm going to check and see what if there's two different types because my box was different and I'll check on that before I might open that later on I might not uh, not sure what's in this box let's see what's happening in here okay it's a nice little box to repackage and send cards out in it looks like we have a big team bag of uh, looks like some Royals and maybe Cubs. Bob Odenkirk. If you watched uh, Better Call Saul or Breaking Bad, you young ones don't need to. You're not old enough yet. Um, if you watch those, he's a pretty funny guy. Addison Russell throwback. That's nice. Chris Bryant. Nice. Rizzo. Mark Pryor. Wow. Javi Baez. That's an awesome insert. Uh, Jake Arrieta insert. Addison Russell insert. These are awesome, man. Cleveland, if you watch this, this is awesome. I'm going to have to figure out a return package for sure. Um, Salvi insert. Hosmer insert. I mean, these are just all insert cards at this point. This is awesome. The first pitches are insert cards. These are all from my two PC teams. Uh, Hosmer, Diamond King, Optic. So guys, make sure you're entered into the card crew giveaway. Um, I've been trying to put together packages for most of them that sent me stuff and send back. Um, that's not a requirement. I'm just trying to, especially since you know they did wind up choosing another person because of some YouTube issues, as the note said. Um, got George Brett there, Chris Bryant. Stephen Colbert first pitch. That's funny. Uh, storied World Series card. Nice. Another Chris Bryant. Wow. Rizzo. Dang. Odorizzi and David Law. And Odorizzi was traded 
in the uh, Wade Davis trade. There's a nice Contreras, Kyle Schwarber. That's the one that has the sparkles on it. Same with the Hamels. Uh, Rediscover Tops, Larry Gura. And that's a card that crosses over. And so is that. Wow. I don't think I had any of these. So a couple Rediscover Tops cards. Um, I saw somebody open a pack last night that had the 88 Tops checklist in Rediscover Tops. And <laughs> that cracked me up because that is not a card that should be being used um, to rediscover. The checklist is everybody's least favorite card. Um, unless you're trying to build a set from the olden days. Which I'm trying to finish up a 79 set. Let's see, I'm trying to open this big bubble he sent. So that I'm not done opening cards from Cleveland here. Use some more of these smaller boxes inside of a bubble manner. So very well protected cards. Not sure what these are. These almost look like they're for like a electrostatic sensitive. So there's some kind of computer part box probably uh, that he used. All right, thanks, uh, Car Collector sixty five. Appreciate you stopping in. So I got two more big old team bags full of cards from him. This is nice. Very nice of Cleveland. In addition to that, that box that I'm sure he really hated to buy, like he said. <laughs> I got a Keith Miller. Looks like a Royals. Some Royals. Also Cubs. So both. Very cool. Another George Brett. Bryant. Wow. Bo Jackson. Love that. There's my boy, Ben Zobrist. He is an answer on my giveaway. DVD. Nice DVD. Not sure what you're talking about. Oh, nice cards. Thanks, man. These are, uh, this package is from Cleveland Car Connection. You Darvish insert. Javi. Oh, nice. Hosmer. Optic. Dude, these are some cool cards. He didn't even throw in any, anything weird. Carlos Zambrano insert I've never seen. Super cool. Another first pitch. Arietta, Chris Bryant, Strope from this year, Jorge Soler, Duffy. And here's some uh, older stuff finally. I mean, we all have tons of this kind of stuff laying around. And it, it's interesting that it... You know, there's a nice uh, Topps Gold. I'm sure I'm missing several of those. Um, looks like he probably did a little opening looking for a Jeter, I would bet. Yep, because here's more 93. He was searching for some Jeter. <laughs> Even Select, yep. So, uh, some... Dude, hats, you don't have to do work on too much, man. I'll get you some stuff back, though, for sure. So, I really appreciate that. I'll uh, definitely be setting aside some stuff. This is a cool card. I don't remember this. 87 All-Star Game. Oh, it's from 2017. It's Tops on Demand. I don't have any of those. That's really cool. Really appreciate the packages. Um, you know, guys... Life gets busy, so even if you win the, the giveaway for June, you know, we're almost over. June's almost over, I, and I'm still getting packages in. So just realize that the guys are, um, they're adults and they're busy. So it may not come right away, but they are working pretty hard on getting you a good package, it looks like. So I really appreciate these. That's the 79 set. I'm eight cards away from finishing. That's a... Uh, Addison Russell insert, uh, Arietta insert, Ian Happ rookie card, another team bag within a bag there. So uh, Aramis, I liked Aramis. Sam Fold rookie. Oh wow. Okay, cool. Very cool stuff. And I still got a little bag to open here. Looks like it has some archives in it. This is awesome. Ooh. 
nice. Alex Gordon, George Brett, Escobar, Mustakas, Mustakas, Salvi, Gordon. Looks like he might have gotten the Royals in a break. This is very cool though. I don't have any of these that I know of. Very cool stuff. Oh, dude. That's tough, dude. Are they brothers? I don't know much about the McCanns. Are they? I think they're brothers, aren't they? It's out of 2018 archive. He must have got the Royals in a break. So that's super cool. I don't think I had any of those. So, uh, I know I don't have anybody in here watching, really. I mean, I have three people, but I don't have a ton of watchers. I mean, sorry not to minimize any of you. That's That came out weird. Um, I know I don't have a ton of viewers, but I'm going to go ahead and open this uh, box of Series 2. And uh, make sure you're letting your friends know to come sub. I'm doing that giveaway soon. They're not related? Oh, wow. That's rough, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. Did you uh, let them know? Did, did the card in the picture... Had you checked the card in the picture? I don't know. Um, sounds like you're just not getting things in the mail right lately, man. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you're looking for Brian McCann. I got to remember that, too. What if I send you a bunch of James? <laughs> so I got to remember Brian McCann for you. Because if I make that same mistake, you're going to hate me. <laughs> um, so, this is the second uh, Series 2 blaster I've opened. Thank you very much, Lone Star, for the, for the blaster. Um, it's pretty well known that these are a joke. I wish they'd actually put a real uh, hit in, in boxes. Um, some boxes, the only hit you get is not a hit. A manufactured patch is not a hit. But hopefully it's a cool player at least. I passed on the other one already. I didn't even keep it in my possession more than a couple days. Um, the last box was a dud. I've seen a lot of duds, but I heard some people got really lucky with these. So I'm hoping to pull some fire out of this for sure. Um, really hoping to get something cool here. The picture was was Brian. Wow, dude. Chaz Rowe, Marco Gonzalez, Victor Robles, Eric Lauer, Mets card, an Astros card. Look at their hats. I have to see if I have a couple of those. I might be trying for this set. All right, here's the Mookie Betts. I'm not sure which uh, set that comes out of, but these are already some different cards than I saw last box at least. So I may be trying for the set, but uh, I'll for sure be looking for some Astros for you hats. Kyle Freeland and Cattell Marte. I don't remember a single rookie in that. So hopefully we get better here. Some decent cards in there, but um, I don't think I pulled any rookies that time. Keep, keep rolling here. Steven Gonsalves, uh, Keon Kila, uh, Tigers. Don't know who Nick Tropiano is. There's a Ted Williams Boston card. Uh, Luis Ortiz rookie, Brian Goodwin. It's interesting, Series 2 had him in it. He never was on the team this year. He's on another team right now. There's a Bregman, Pedro Baez, Eduardo Rodriguez, Dominic Smith, Sweet Victory for Boston, and a Jeff Samarja. Still none of the big rookie cards that in my second box of this I'm opening here. Still hold out some hope, hopefully felt a little weird. I don't know. Reese McGuire rookie card. Sam Dyson. Stephen Tarpley rookie. Josh Adams rookie. Sean Armstrong. Uh, Chris Archer. We've got a Mel Ott insert. 
Uh, yeah, that is a nice Bregman. Hopefully I have it already and I can send you one. Because um, I think I am going to try for this set. This guy was so bad. I was booing him, screaming at him. The Royals actually cut him. And they don't cut anybody because they don't like to waste money. Uh, Ch Chasen, uh, Culberson, you Darvish, Chad Pinder, Manny Machado, and a Walker Buehler Gold Cup. So I think there's some definite differences in these uh, two boxes so far, hopefully. Still looking for one of the hot uh, one of the hot rookies. Would love to see a good rookie. Or maybe a surprise hit out of retail. Who knows? Probably not going to happen. I don't know what the odds say on them. Um, vintage stocks, one in 172 packs. I don't know if there's any chances in these. I don't even see the word auto. Autograph or anything. So you're really just looking for the rookies. Uh, ben Gamble. Tyler O'Neill, Future Star. Jacob Faria. Jeff Mathis. Steve Ciszek. It's a PC card. Chris Davis. Rod Carew, 84 style. There's an interesting card. I haven't seen one of these yet. It's numbered out of 76. 68 out of 76. Dustin Pedroia. That's a, about as close as you can get to a hit. Alright. Hey, good to see you there. Um... Pedroia, it looks like a red, white, and blue, like a Independence Day hit, basically. Better than the manufactured patch, most likely, out of 76. So I don't know if that's going to show up very well. But out of 76. Very cool. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that up right now. So that's most likely our hit of the box, um, seeing as they don't even show odds for any hits in these packs besides the parallel cards. So we got Petroya out of 76. Unfortunately I believe his career is over thanks to Manny Machado. But we'll go ahead and throw that up there. Pulled the Pedroya parallel card. Cindergard. Addison Russell, Franklin Barreto, Daniel Palka, Yusmiro Petit, and Ryan Yarbrough Cup Card. Still looking for a big rookie. Got uh, three packs left and then the manufactured supposed hit. Thank you so much for ruining hits for boxes tops. Uh, Carson Kelly, Mike Fires, Jake Cave rookie, Texas Rangers, Rugnet Ordor, Steven Brault, Mookie Betts, Tyler Molly, David Dahl, Brad Hand, Keenan Middleton, got a Yandy Diaz, Ian Desmond, and uh, Fernando Rodney. Rodney spent a little bit of time with the Cubs a couple seasons back. He's still around. He's got a long career under his belt. Johnny Field rookie card. That's a Cubs rookie I haven't seen, I don't think. Kevin Newman rookie. Maybe I've seen Johnny, I don't know. Steven Strasburg. Sean Edwards, Sean Newcomb, hat. <laughs> we got a Babe Ruth franchise feats, a Yelich home run challenge. Maybe I should scratch that. I don't know what the prizes are though. Keon Broxton, a Chris Sale, JT Riddle, uh, Nick Tropiano, Cole Hamels, uh, Trevor Hildenberger, and a JD Davis. So got me a Cubs rookie I don't think I had yet. I still haven't seen a single one of the uh, major four.
and that's kind of disappointing in tops that they're not putting any of the good rookies in these blaster boxes that people can buy um that's really not cool um maybe occasionally but i've seen a lot of these opened and not very many of the good rookies are in them uh brandon drury we got a willie adamas alan hansen uh roselle herrera i don't know why they call that a rookie roselle herrera actually played for the royals um they don't have any of his major league stats on here even though he did play in the majors last year so that's really strange um giants michael waka masahiro tanaka got a team uniform evolution yeah i know hats i know i know of carlton fisk nick martini rookie max muncie Austin Meadow Future Stars. There's a Josh Reddick. Man, an Astros card? Really? <laughs> a Mark Canha and a Jorge Alfaro cup card. So I've opened two blasters of Series 2 and thus far have zero of the good rookies. Alright, on to the manufactured waste of time hopefully it's somebody I like nope I'm trying to remember I have to look back at the video where I opened this I know the other manufactured patch was also a cardinal in hats if you hate the Rangers take that times 50 as a Cubs and Royals fan and look, that patch is even damaged. It's like not even cool. It's like something's it scratches off, I guess. It like wasn't even molded right. They're little nonsense commemorative patch cards. <sighs> Two cardinals out of that out of those patch cards is just enough to make you sick. And like I said, I already mailed off one of them because I just don't want them. Um First of all, they're not a hit, and uh, second of all, I, I just, I'm not a Cardinals enthusiast by any means. Um, but that being said, it doesn't diminish the fact, um, it's very cool that uh, Lone Star sent that along. I really appreciate that. Um, we do have the Pedroia numbered out of 76. Independence Day. Somehow, I don't have a cat. Looks like somebody's cat got on there. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, but this is numbered out of 76, so that'd be the hit of the box, not this nonsense plastic thing that carries no value, in my opinion. I mean, it's a Yachty or Molina card, but I don't know. Um,. Pretty big mail day there. I'm really curious about this limited edition set. Like I said, I have a different one that came in a bigger box. So I'm not sure if this is a different set than the one I had. Um, you know, the box is kind of banged up from shipping or from before you got a hold of it. You know what? It is a different. It's a different. So let's go ahead and rip it open. What do you say? I will definitely keep the box, but I want to see the cards. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Because my other set has 25 cards in it, and this one has 15. It's crazy how Topps considers what they just sent to be... Um, packaged well too all right so it comes with a team bag which i've never seen in an open, unopened product it was a sealed box seems kind of strange huh i've never seen a team bag inside of a a box very different 
I do have a 25 card set from the World Series team, so this must be different. Um, or it might be a partial, I don't know. But we do have one of the answers to my trivia questions. Oh, the, <laughs> the Rizzo Relic is like that? <laughs> Alright, that's okay, man. I'll take a Rizzo. These corners on here are kind of touched, unfortunately. Um, there's an answer to my trivia if you're getting in on my giveaway. Um, we got a David Ross. We got a Dexter Fowler, who's now a Cardinal. We got Addison Russell, Chris Bryant, Raldis Chapman, Chris Bryant again. David Ross and Anthony Rizzo combination on the highlight catch. We got a Wrigley World Series returns to a Wrigley. Aroldis Chapman. Jake Arietta takes a no hitter into the sixth. Nice. Uh, Schwarber. <laughs> no, it's all good hats. I'm good with that. Uh, Schwarber again. A uh, Rizzo and the team photo there. I want to say that might be a different set. I'm hoping that these are all. Let's see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15. This seems like it's been opened. I don't know. I don't know. But. Oh well. We'll figure it out one way or the other. I mean, it's fine either way. I mean, I don't. We don't need to figure anything out. But that's a cool little set. So thank you very much, uh, Cleveland. Tons of base stuff and inserts. Way more than the giveaway amount. Um, so definitely I've already started setting aside some uh, Indian stuff. Because I knew you were uh, going to be sending me something. But I'll uh, definitely try to dig up some more Indians for Cleveland. Um... You know, I have a, a an autograph here I found and some different stuff, but I don't know. I don't know how much I have, but I, I'm going to be uh, doing the best I can. Hats, I'm going to be finding you some stuff um, for sure. Hats, do you like the older guys or just the newer Astros before I get off of here? Are you interested in older Astros as well? It won't just be a bunch of guys that you never heard of. Maybe some Biggio or Bagwell. Those kind of guys like that. Maybe some inserts. The old 90's inserts are worth a little bit. Um, not sure exactly what I have as far as... At least I had sleeves that fit it. A lot of people try to shove those in and bang up the corners. Um, okay, cool hats. Well, I'm probably, <laughs> looks like I got four viewers right now. I've been lower than for the entire video, and now I'm pretty much ready to be done. Um, been a fan since 93. Yeah, cool, man. I'll try to find, I got a bunch of insert stuff to go through. Um, I bought a big collection, and it has a ton of 90s inserts, and and then some newer guys, any duplicates I have as well, I'll definitely throw in. Um, but I'll uh, definitely try to find you something cool. I'll be looking for that. Um, let's see, I don't know if any of these are Astros. These are a little older than 93 or whatever. I don't see any Astros there. But um, I definitely will be finding you something, man. I'll make it worth it. And uh, see if these are all duplicates. Let's see if there's any Astros in here for you. You're 28. Okay. Yeah. I knew you were around that age. Here or there. I think you said it in one of your videos, man. When you were kind of opening it up. So I knew you were that age, actually. I'm trying to find any extra Astros for you right now in this stack of 2019 Bowman. Isn't that about right? Um, 
I may have a mojo card that I could let go of. I'm not sure. As far as the mojo is what I have. I didn't see a single Astro in that pile. And I was not holding back. Um, I'll definitely go through these top series two for you as well hats. And check whether there's any duplicates as well on that. Um, and I have a ton of hats. Do you like other sports or just, just baseball? You like the Texans by chance? I know I got a couple JJ Watts laying around, stuff like that. Any interest in Texans? Primary baseball. Okay. Hey, Giants fan there. San Francisco. What's up, man? You back in again? You interested in making some kind of deal, man? Anybody in here? I know Hats is sending me something. I guess I'm not... I know there's a guy who's like the most famous dude out there right now in baseball cards who gets fan mail and then sends back like two cards. I don't consider anybody sending me stuff fan mail. Or I consider it, we're going to trade. That's how I, I do. I don't like people to just give me things. Um, so if you send me something, hats, you're getting something at least as comparable as I can make it in return. Um, if I don't have a relic, I'll do something. I'll figure out something. Now, one thing I will say is, like, I have a... If you watch one of my old videos, I have a, a nice Guriel Auto. I'm trying to hold on to that for now. Um, and I kind of put a premium on our autographs versus either the player-worn or event, you know, the plastic things. I put a little bit of a premium on an autograph. Um, I can't let go of that one without it being a pretty decent card for my team coming back. But... Uh, just just throwing that out there because I know it's out there on a video that I have it. Um, so I don't want you to think I'm holding back from you. But I will definitely try to find um, some cards that I think are a decent return. And I'll try to find as much as I can for you. Um, it's not going to be one or two cards in a white envelope if I can help it. Um, there's been a couple people I've sent less stuff but maybe more quality like rookie cards or an auto um you know things like that um san francisco you like the giants i'm i'm sure i kind of gathered that <laughs> um i'm not sure what i have as far as the giants um it would be something i'd be you know, if you have Cubs and Royals stuff laying around that you would like to get rid of, I would send you back Giants. And if I didn't have enough Giants, I'd send you something that you could maybe uh, trade. It's up to you guys. Like, I like to make deals. I'm not on here. I'm on here to thin out some of the stuff I don't want. Like, I don't really care about Astros cards if I'm not making the set. Um, you know, I've got extra Biggio rookies, for instance, laying around that, you know, right now, hats, I can tell you... You know, I can throw this in there, no problem. I don't know if you have it. Um, stuff like that. I have a few of those, so I'm sure, laying around. Um, Giants. I don't know off the top of my head what I have. Um, yeah, I have Giants. Uh, SF. I have a bunch of Giants stuff. I have couple hundred thousand uh, cards laying around for sh at least I mean I don't even know what my numbers are um, 
Now what it what it is is it stuff you're gonna want? I can't promise that. I got I mean right now I'm just looking at a bunch of Chipper Jones rookies. Um Frank Thomas rookies, different stuff like that. I have a lot of that era stuff, of course, like most people my age do. Um but I'll uh, figure out something um, for sure. I know there's some giants in this. Uh, there's a few giants like right on top here of this. Uh, like the Aramis Garcia and the Brandon Crawford. Um, right there on top. Yeah, I know everything that uh, Biggio did. He was a catcher, second. Then he played center for a while. Then he went back to second hats. Um, <laughs> yep. For sure, man. Um, I may have a Bagwell, extra Bagwell. I'm not sure. Um, some of those I'm keeping one on the Hall of Famers. Um, but, you know, if you guys are interested in making any deals, let me know. I'll... Uh, my email is warriorcar65 at gmail. Um, let me know kind of some of the bigger things you have, what kind of things you want to do. I don't mind sending the same time. The reason I like to maybe receive and then send back out is that I don't want to short you. Like I don't want you to send me $200 worth of cars and I sent you like a $20 package. Yeah, you did play a little bit of left. You're right. Um... So that's kind of in it with the massive quantity of stuff I have. It takes me a little bit of time. Um, if you have something just killer, like a Bo Jackson autograph, stuff like that, I am going to be acquiring... Hey, Connor. I'm going to be acquiring a... Uh, <laughs> here's another one of those those manufactured things. that Joe iPhone sent me that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm going to be acquiring an autograph I really wanted. So I've got a Twins fan. Yeah, I saw your video, Connor. I think I commented. I'm not sure on that one. Um, pretty cool, dude. I watched it on my way to the doctor's appointment for the baby today. Um, yeah. When you got Jeff Kent, you can go put him somewhere else. That's for sure. Um, Twins fan had a, had a card I want. So... These aren't all in twins uniform. These are all tw current twins. I have some giants. I don't know what exactly I have. These are all current twins. I want to keep that one so bad. But I went out and I got all this. So if you have something I'm really interested in. Or if you send me something that's really sweet. I will either... Get a hold of it. Let me know ahead of time if you got something super cool so I can be accumulating things. The Crone is not. That is already in a trade. Sorry, Connor. Um, so, yeah, I was just explaining, Connor, if you have something super cool that I'm interested in, I will go out and buy stuff. Because um, I'm interested. If I'm interested in something, I'll get a hold of something for you. So, if you send me something that's way more... Uh, valuable than anything I have then I have also a couple times sent uh, directly to um, from eBay or stuff like that I've had it sent directly to the individual I was interested in the Taylor Davis Connor you're right the Taylor Davis is not a high value card however um, and I don't know if he'll ever get called up again but he's a he's a stand up dude guys like you Connor are a little bit younger than you he treats them amazing. Um, all those current twins, man, are in a deal. They are already traded. So, you're interested in current twins, Connor? <laughs> of course you're interested in current twins, aren't you? Connor, is it, is it a, uh, hey Danny, uh, Connor, is it a in-person autograph or is it a pack pulled, like a authentic 
out of a pack um, that I'd be interested in knowing for sure before I worked on that. Um, hey Danny, I uh, opened some pretty cool mail today from uh, Cleveland and from Lone Star and Jimmy Guns and a couple eBay items. Um, Connor, is it a, is it a, it's a pack pulled? Okay, um, what kind of, what kind of stuff are you looking for for it? 98 Astros Randy Johnson, you can never find it. Um, a specific one hats or any Astros uniform Randy? I may have some Astros, I'm not sure. Or some Astros Randy Johnson, I'm not sure. I did sell like 2,000 Hall of Fame cards a while back. Danny, if I find a few racing cards laying around, I'll be sending you something back to man. I'm trying to find some stuff for Cleveland, and I'll probably try to find something for Lone Star as well. Any Astros uni? Okay. Hats, I'll do my best, man. Um, Connor, is there anything in particular you're looking for, man? I know at one point I had pulled a nice Buxton out of 10, and I'd pulled a nice Sano Auto, and I wound up... Um, I wound up selling them on eBay back when I pulled them. That was a, two or three years ago. It was like 2013 Topps Heritage Minor League Cards. Current Twins Auto. Okay. Um... Can you can you email me Connor what you have exactly at warriorcards65 at gmail, like what cards you have so I can kind of do some comps and try to make it a fair deal on on both of our ends. Um. Yeah, Danny, I get it, man. I I don't I don't uh, do racing, so I get what you're saying, man. I'll try to figure out something though. Um. Connor, okay, yeah. Um, Connor, send me that email. I'm going to be honest, my computer's dying, so I need to let everybody go here in a second. I've been live for an hour, and it went from 100% down to nothing, and I don't have the charger over here. Um, okay, Hats. Yeah, I'll try to figure something out. Send me that email, Connor, and uh, I'll try to figure out something really comparable, and I'll respond to you before I pull the trigger on anything. Um, and you never know, I may have something laying around. And, uh... San Francisco, if you're interested in making a trade, uh, send me an email to warriorcard65 at gmail. Um, sorry, guys, my computer's dying. I'm going to lose you guys, so i got to go ahead and sign out. Appreciate you all stopping in. I'm going to type this in. Hey, Carter's kids, my computer's dying, dude. Sorry, my computer's dying. Um, I appreciate you all. It's been fun talking to you today, showing some things off. I will definitely check into uh, any emails I get. Um, appreciate you all. Have a great one.